Hello guys, Smart Paula here. Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be checking out the free marketplace assets for the month of November. So as always, I got all the content downloaded here. First, we have loaded up here the log cabin. Let's go ahead and take a look. This is the demonstration map. So when you hit play here, it actually plays a blizzard uh, sound. So it sounds like snowing and there's no snow or particle effects here. But but yeah, anyways, so you get this nice little log cabin. Uh, this is not terrain, this is just mesh. So if we go ahead and go in here, you can press E to open the door. Press E to close it. I'm gonna go ahead and make this full screen. So here's the inside of the cabin. Um, as you can see, there's lots of nice uh, decoration. Okay, um, so yeah, so we got a bed, chair, some bags and stuff, got a little furnace, uh, Got a table with some food. And over in the corner, got just some more um, antiques and just a lot of detail in some of these assets. And as you can see here, really small little log cabin. Not a whole lot to it, but yeah, it's really nice. Um, I can give you a close up here of the furnace. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and go out here, open the door. I can give you a walk around of the cabin. It's a really small uh, cabin. You can see you got a few outdoor props like the fence here, uh, table, some snow on it. And yeah, so this is the overview map. Uh, this is all the assets that you get with this. So a lot of little details here. Um, you can see the fence and stuff has uh, snow on the texture. Um, so we got some curtains, bed, all the little trinkets, uh, pots and pans, a barrel, a table, all that stuff. A lot of little details. And then over here, you got the cabin. So it looks like it's all modular sort of pieces. And you can see here, um, we have snow on the outside. It doesn't look like it comes with a clean texture. So I don't know. Guess you get snow on the outside of the cabin. And then we got the floor. And you can see it got wooden boards here are all modeled in so that looks really good actually really small scene uh, not a whole lot to it and uh yeah let's go ahead and check out our next pack so next up we have the modular snap system now this is actually a plugin so to enable this we can go ahead and go to our plugins and you can see here modular snap system click enabled after you've enabled the plugin you're going to see this little s at the top here for the, the snap system so you can toggle it on and off and basically what you can do is you can take really any asset uh, and create different snapping sockets so I've opened this wall door right here and you're gonna see this new little window socket manager right here at the bottom I'm gonna create a socket here and you can pretty much just position these sockets wherever and these are going to define snap points so I can create a socket on this side Create another socket and move this to the other side right here. All right, so I actually spent like the past 30 minutes trying to get these things to snap. Uh, literally, I added two sockets here and it's not snapping together. Something that really should take, I don't know, five minutes to do. Not even five minutes, like 10 seconds with the normal grid snapping. Uh, man, it should take about 30 minutes and not even work. So I don't know, modular snap system. Supposedly, you're supposed to set up the points here on a mesh so that you can set up snap points and snap things together not much of a success here so don't know what's going on but uh yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and move on because uh because at this point it's kind of pointless i don't know if you guys get it to work let me know kind of seems uh counterproductive if you have to set up you know each of your snap points for each mesh that you have but i don't know let me, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below all right so next up we have the train yard here so I'll go ahead and zoom out. This is what you're getting right here. This nice little map. Uh, focus mainly on these trains. And I'll go ahead and hit play. So as you can see here, we get this nice little map um, with these trains as well as these train tracks. Uh, the train here isn't really terrain. It's actually a mesh. Uh, so I'll go ahead and show you guys the trains here. We'll do a little walk around. So you got the front as well as the uh, passenger cars. 
and you actually have interiors so if we go ahead and walk up in here so this is the interior we have the seats here uh, now you can't really walk in the uh, seats because your character is a little bit too big but yeah the lighting in here looks really great um, they have some really nice materials on here and reflections so you can see here that we got the doors and here at the front uh, I don't know if you can actually go into the uh, driver's seat but there's that okay and then there's the uh, passenger cart well I guess both of them are pa technically passenger carts but uh, just the passenger cart with no uh, driver's spot or whatever okay and then there's this green one so I think they're pretty much the same thing just different material uh, they also have interiors in here uh, these ones just have the doors closed so it looks like you can't open them I know these are actually just a mesh right here so if you actually click on these you can rotate them so if you wanted to open the doors you can actually do that and it looks like you can actually open the uh, drivers doors as well okay oh, yeah it looks like you could open up the door so if you wanted to you could set up a blueprint where you can uh, interact and open those doors and then you could set up maybe a driver pawn or train pawn or something I don't know and so we got this train track all here modular train track and you got all these different lines and uh, little frames. Over here we have uh, just the train yard warehouse or whatever. You can see some of the parts here on the outside. Okay, so if we go in here, just empty warehouse. Uh, really nice actually. Um, not much to it other than this place where obviously you store the trains. Okay, and it looks like these doors, you can rotate them, so that's always nice. And it looks like this here is just a destroyed one. I think the material here is different, but the uh, model might be the same. I'm not sure. Oh, it looks like the trains are actually modular. Anyways, um, yeah, this is what you're getting with the map. Really uh, medium size, detailed level here. And fly into this other building here okay so if we go ahead and check out the, the assets here so this is all you're getting with the pack so you can see the rails right there this is the ground the ground mesh I was talking about so it wasn't actually terrain it was just a mesh okay and then some of the props all right and over here we have the modular pieces for the warehouse the doors, concrete pieces, all that stuff. Then you have the trains. So these are two examples here that they put out. Uh, then over here are the modular pieces. And I didn't know this is actually modular. Um, but there you go. You have modular train right here. So you can build uh, whatever size train you want. You got the doors, all that stuff. And yeah. And over here we have all the decals and the grass and brush and all that stuff. Okay, and in the back here we have the background assets. So these aren't really high quality. Well, not high quality, but uh, high resolution, high texture or anything. They're just meant to be in the background. And uh, yeah, I mean, really high quality train, modular train, and with interiors and everything. Fully customizable. Overall, pretty nice pack. Um, not a whole lot, but still pretty good quality. So let's go ahead and move on to our next pack. All right, so next up we have the VFX Trails Pack. And so here are the actual trails and particles. Uh, so a lot of different things here. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the first one, which is the Corrosion Trail. So we can go ahead and just select the trail right here and swap that out. So there is the corrosion trail, so. All right, then we have the, the dark trail. So it's more of a bluish fire uh, with some black. It also comes with this little hand sparks right here. Okay, next up we have the elemental sword trail. So 
some wind, I guess. I don't know. So that's the inner. This is the main. I guess uh, there's uh, more flow and more color in that one. Then we have the outer. So you could uh, attach more sockets to the sword, uh, the way this is set up, and how these anim notifies. Um, what I'm actually using here is this Paragon character you can download on the marketplace. So you can have multiple of these sword trails at different socket points on this sword. So this is the outer one. Uh, it looks really nice actually, I like this one a lot. Okay, and this is the magic sword trail. So some more purple and pink in there. And then there are some trail sparks, you can't really see them in here. You have some hit effects as well that it comes with. So each trail usually comes with a hit effect. Um, not all of them do, but some of them come with a hit effect. So you have the trails for the swords as well as the hit effect. Okay, so this is the soul aura. So kind of like a splash of magic. Then we have the uh, soul trails. So I'll go ahead and play these for you guys. And next up we have the speed. So this is speed hit. It's like a fast blade uh, striking an enemy or opponent. Then we have the trails. So this is a speed trail. And the speed trail add. Um, you can see it has a little bit of an effect there. Okay, and then we have the sword trail strong. So it looks more of like fire. And that's pretty much it for this pack. Uh, like I said, you can download this Paragon uh, character on the marketplace for free. Uh, just search Paragon and you can browse through all the different characters that they have. But overall, uh, pretty nice effects there. Don't really know a whole ton about uh, Niagara and particles yet. So anyways, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and move on to our next pack. All right, so next up we have the volumetric glass. So if I go ahead and hit play here. So what this actually comes with is this little demo map. You see here we're underwater. So here's a sci-fi laboratory. Uh, so here we can see the mannequin trapped in this little glass with various uh, different liquids it looks like. So you can see the character there. And then you can see some aquariums here. This is actually really nice. Um, nice little aquarium there with some glass. You got a round one here with the little fish. Looks pretty uh, spooky. I don't know what's going on here, but see uh, the water's rising up and down. I don't really know what this is. Kind of looks like gas. And this little crystal looks pretty cool. And then we have little uh, balls of spears. Oh, I guess you can move these around. That's cool. So, huh. Oh, and I didn't notice uh, below here, we can actually see uh, we're standing on glass, so we can see down to the ocean. Okay, let's go ahead and check out the aquarium tunnel. So yeah, this is what the map actually comes with. I was actually surprised that it came with all this stuff, but yeah, so we can just walk here pretty much. Can look around, some fish. So yeah, I mean, you could use this for I don't know, any sort of glass uh, case uh, that you're gonna need like water or something in. Okay, and then it takes you, I guess, back into the start where we began. Anyways, uh, I can go ahead and zoom out if you wanna see all the different uh, assets they use here. Not a whole lot to it, uh, just the same rock. And they had a post-process volume right here. So if you wanna check that out, um, see how they set up the post-process, you can Always check out the settings on those. And if you want to use this little glass spline actor, you can as well. Yeah, so don't really know where I'd really use this. Um, depends on your project, you know. Can't really foresee myself needing uh, an aquarium with a fish in it. But anyways, you have all that stuff in here. You'll have all the assets and stuff. Comes with a lot of little things. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this pack. Uh, and that's pretty much it for the five free assets of November. Uh, now there are two additional permanently free content and we'll go ahead and check those out right now. All right, so first up here we have this military style mannequin. Uh, so we can go ahead and hit play here. 
So as you can see here, it looks like we have just the regular mannequin, and then we have the skin over here. And it actually comes with this female mannequin right here, so um, I don't think, I remember they had a female mannequin that they gave away in one of the free packs a couple months ago, but I don't know if it's still permanently free. Anyhow, this is permanently free, so you guys can go ahead and pick it up on the marketplace as well. And, uh, yeah, I mean, there's not really much to it. Uh, you can see you're going to run around. Uh, it's pretty much it, uh, just the skin and texture. All right, so last up we have the Easy Ballistics plugin. Now, basically what this is is a uh, plugin for Unreal Engine that works with Blueprint and C++ uh, that gives you realistic uh, bullets, projectiles. This has support for things like uh, gravity, drag, wind, travel time, ricochets, wall penetration, all bit, pretty much all the bells and whistles you'd find in any realistic um, shooter game like Arma 3 or uh, CSGO or something. Uh, it also comes with like bullet sprays and all that stuff. Um, and one thing to note is that it has full multiplayer support with custom movement uh, replication. So you can actually go ahead and download the demo or the example project right here from Google Drive. Uh, that's what I went ahead and did right here. So if I go ahead and actually play this as two clients and new under, new editor windows. So here I can show you that it's actually working here for multiplayer. So if I shoot here, you can see my gun is moving around here. And uh, the other player can see me. And when I shoot, you can see it's all replicated for multiplayer. Uh, so that's all nice. Um, I'm going to go ahead and actually just play this as client here. And we'll show you guys around. So you can see here uh, this has a little bit of rep, um, looks like ricocheting. I don't know if you can see that well. And you can see the shells are actually popping out of the gun. All right, so when you shoot some of these cans here, and if I shoot down range, actually aim with the sights. So you can see the bullet projectile. And it's pretty accurate actually, so. Uh, then it looks like here, we'll shoot through it, I don't know. Okay, so it looks like you can shoot through walls, uh, different materials. So if we shoot through there, we can see that made it through. Okay, and then, not sure what the difference is between here. I guess this one didn't make it through, so, um, yeah. yeah. I don't know what's going on there. It's kind of like uh, jumping around the bullet. So, anyways, uh, little things work out there. Um, it doesn't look like you can shoot the other player, but, Anyways, you can see all the particles and everything is all replicated, so that's all set up there out of the box. Uh, honestly, I was surprised that um, they even have uh, all this stuff set up for multiplayer, because typically um, no one sets that up ever for any sort of project on the marketplace. But yeah, anyways, this is permanently free, uh, so you can download it whenever. Um, Someone did mention that uh, wasn't there like a while ago and then it popped back up or something. So I don't know, maybe you might want to consider getting it before, uh, just get it before the month ends and uh, just download it and have it just in case. But don't think they're going to take it off, you know, but I don't know, just in case. Really good pack, honestly, and uh, a lot of different stuff here and blueprints that you can dig through and from the looks of it uh, he has some really good documentation and tutorials if you just go over to the uh, marketplace uh, web page and uh, yeah um, so yeah that's pretty much it for all the assets this month um, overall uh, I wouldn't say it's the you know one of the best months that we've had and uh, is it one of the worst uh, I'm not sure but let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below, uh, which packs are you guys going to use, and what projects you're going to use them for. Anyways, uh, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.